Hi, I'm Steve Root. This is Root's Kitchens, Bedrooms, Bathrooms. Today, I'm working from home and I'm gonna answer the question, should you buy a self-cleaning oven? I'm gonna start this video by giving you the answer at the beginning. Then I'm gonna explain the difference between pyrolytic and catalytic cleaning functions. And finally, I'm gonna demonstrate both of those functions using my own two ovens, which have deliberately not been cleaned for at least six months. I hope they work as well as the manufacturers say they do. But to answer the question is actually two parts. Firstly, there isn't really a thing as a self-cleaning oven because you still have to do things to activate the cleaning function. You have to remove the internal accessories, you have to activate the program, and you still have to wipe the oven out. So when we as retailers say self-cleaning, it's not entirely self-cleaning, it doesn't do everything for you. But the second factor is, are they worth having? Yes, absolutely. I will always choose a self-cleaning oven over a non-self-cleaning oven, and I have in my own home with both types of version. So how do these cleaning programs work? Well, the first option is pyrolytic. A pyrolytic oven heats the inside up to 500 degrees centigrade. At that temperature, any food residue is turned to ash. At the end of the program, there'll be often little white spots around the cavity, and you can wipe those out with a damp cloth. At 500 degrees centigrade, it's very hot and could be dangerous, so all of these have a mechanical lock that drops into place so that you can't possibly open the door, even if you turn the power off. And because they're getting very hot, they run lots of cooling fans, and they can be quite noisy when they're running the cleaning program. One question we get is, how much does that cost to run? That's a lot of power they're using. Well, each cycle is around two and a half to five kilowatts of power, or about 50p to a pound. Our second option is a catalytic liner. In chemistry, a catalyst is a material that speeds up or slows down a chemical reaction. And in our oven, the reaction we're looking to happen is the breaking down of food fats and splashes into essentially dust and uh, atmosphere. It's exactly the same process as we're looking to happen in our pyrolytic oven at 500 degrees, but in our catalytic liner oven, it starts at around 180 degrees. You can identify a catalytic liner uh, by a textured surface around the oven's uh, cavity. Never the base, the sides, the back, and the area above the grill. And ideally, all of that area is gonna be lined with this catalytic material. When you're searching online to, to buy these ovens, you might find the word catalyst isn't used very often anymore. Uh, they've often got their own brand names. So this particular Neff oven is called EcoClean. Now I do sometimes get suspicious of brand names and marketing and is there any real difference? So I asked Neff's UK training manager what the difference was between the, the ovens we sold 24 years ago that I learned about that had catalytic liners uh, and the EcoClean liners that they're doing today. He went to Germany and found out from their engineers and the original catalytic liners had a texture that was more like, um, more like a corrugated roof. So up and down, bumpy surface. But the new EcoClean liners are more like ceramic balls, particles, all wedged together in a thick layer which has a much larger surface area. And that larger surface area allows them to work more effectively at slightly lower temperatures and last longer. So whereas the liners we were selling 24 years ago were expected to last 10 or 12 years in an oven, uh, these liners now are expected to last the life of the oven, which should comfortably be 20 years. No one ever puts a, a date on how long an oven's going to last. Um, but I must have confidence in it because I've got one for myself. The reason I've got this particular one with catalytic liners and one with pyrolytic when my personal favourite is pyrolytic is because this is a steam oven and when I bought this oven three years ago and yes I have to buy my own ovens, manufacturers don't give them to me, um, when I chose this for my own home I wanted a steam oven and the steam ovens didn't have a pyrolytic option but I am perfectly happy with the catalytic liners and we use this, this oven as much as we, we use the top oven. So now the real question is do they really work? So first we remove any interior accessories, wipe clear the base of the oven and the door of the oven of any large food deposits, and then we're ready to begin. So the Neff ovens count how many times you've used them and remind you to run the cleaning program every so often. I've been ignoring this cleaning message for a long time now, but it does mean that it's easy for me to start. For our pyrolytic oven, we also remove the internal accessories, and wipe out the base and the door of any large deposits. And the programs are finished. Whilst the top oven calls, allow me to tell you about Roots Kitchens, Bedrooms, Bathrooms. We're a small specialist independent retailer of kitchens, bedrooms and bathrooms based in East Kent. That's the southeast corner of the United Kingdom. We do a full service of design, supply, installation and project management, which is my brother David who goes around every job several times a week making sure everything is tip top.
If you'd like a room done well, please come and visit our showroom between Faversham and Canterbury. If you're outside of our area and you have questions, leave them in the comments section below. I do answer them all personally and then everybody can benefit from the answers. And if you've enjoyed the videos, please give it a like and maybe a subscribe too. So did the ovens clean themselves? Well, let's start with the catalytic liners. And I think you'll agree that the majority of spots and splashes that were on this oven, on the side of this oven, have gone. There are a few left. There's a slightly larger spot just between those two rails that I can see. But this oven is definitely clean. It has cleaned itself, um, including the base. All I did for the base was wipe it out, which was a lot easier than I expected. So to answer the question, should you buy a self-cleaning oven? Yes, catalytic is a perfectly good option. And as you can see, I chose this for my own home. Uh, and then finally, the pyrolytic, which is still my favorite. So you can see this oven is very, very clean uh, with just the regular enamel liners. Uh, I've missed a bit of ash, not wiping it off in the corner there. Let's zoom in. So I should run the cloth over that. I probably won't bother, but this oven is clean. And again, this is another three-year-old oven uh, that we use for our family meals every day. Uh, and it's clean. So should you buy a self-cleaning oven? Yes, and I also think Pyrolytic works well. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please click like, it does help my small business, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. My name is Steve Root, this is Root's Kitchens, Bedrooms, Bathrooms.